In this screen, we're adding a new deck of poker cards to a new game. This game doesn't have any decks already inside of it, so we just see the file upload box. If we were looking at a game that already had decks, it would look something like this, where it shows you the poker deck, the name of it, the quantity, and the other information about it. Let's go back to how it looks if there's no decks. So, if you're going to add a new deck of poker cards, you start by clicking on the file uh, upload box. Choose the file that you want to use for the back of the deck, and it will be instantly uploaded. Once it's there, you'll see the poker deck. You'll see the name, which can be changed. You can set a quantity for the number of decks you want in the game. And you can also indicate whether or not the deck includes all of the cards in this deck or if it, you want a selection of random cards. You can see the back thumbnail for this image. And you have two options if you wanted to download it or if you wanted to proof it. This little eye up here tells you that this has not been proofed yet. Finally, we could go in and we could edit cards and add the faces to those cards. Let's continue by building out our deck of cards. So we currently have the back image that will be used for the cards in the deck, but let's add some fronts. Click on the green Edit Cards button, and this will take us to where the cards fronts are at. So let's go ahead and click on the green uh, Upload File box, select our, our front images for the cards, and you can select multiple at the same time. They'll upload instantaneously, and now we have the faces uh, of the cards. You can change the name if you want. You can set a specific quantity. And you can also choose whether or not each card uses the back side from the deck where we were just at. Or you can also say, I want this to be a unique card and I want to control each side of that card independently. So you could upload a different image for the face and a different image for the back. Now that we've got our cards in the deck, I'm going to go ahead and change this back to deck for this example. All right, and we have two card images here that haven't been proofed. So I'm going to click on the eye icon here. Then I can see that there's an approve button. I can use this if I like what I see. There's a deny button. If I notice an issue and I want to make a change, I can use this. There's two different filters that toggle on and off cut lines as well as the color filter. And we typically recommend that you just leave this as is. Um, so I like what I see here. I'm going to choose approve. And it automatically takes me to the next uh, card face that I need to proof. Uh, this is a time saving feature. So I can take a look at this. Everything checks out and I can choose approve. All right. Now you'll notice that the I, the information circles have disappeared. Everything is in order and we've added our cards to the deck. Keep in mind that if you're a power user, you can name your files in various ways so that when you upload the files, they automatically uh, create a poker deck or they become the face of a card and the back. You can read about how to do this right here at the bottom of the screen. Um, and again, these are power features that allow you to um, name your files in ways so that when you do upload them to the system, they'll automatically go where you want them to go.